Oh boy, I'm lost. For how many skills we go over all the time on this channel, one thing that we have never yet talked about, and a lot of people don't talk about, is what do you do when you realize that you don't know where you're at? I don't even wanna say lost at this point. You're just not sure where you're at or you got off the trail that you were on and you think you might be lost. What do you do? Today, I'm gonna to give you five tips on what to do when this happens. Number one, admit you don't know where you're at. Now I'm taking this as number one for one simple reason. It's very hard for a lot of people when they are out in the woods, especially if they're in the woods a lot, to admit to themselves or admit to somebody else that they are with traveling that they just aren't sure where they're at at the current time. It doesn't mean that you are lost. You might just be misplaced for a little bit or you might just be confused for a second. But to be able to actually admit this can really save you in the long run. Rather than just continuously walking and hoping you find your way, being able to stop and admit that you need to figure out where you're at or where you went wrong, or even if you're on the same trail, just realize you're still there is very, very important. The problem with not admitting this is that if you begin to walk, and I've heard people say this before, is they're like, I think it's right over that mountain. And they walk over that next mountain and they're like, um, I think when we get down to the bottom, I'll know where I'm at. The problem with this is if you are lost or you got off the trail that you know very well and you continue this pattern, you're just getting further and further out of the way and further and further lost compared to being able to stay put to where you actually are. So man up, admit that you aren't sure at that time where you're at and give yourself a few seconds. And that feeds right into number two, stay calm and relax. Now that's a lot easier said than done. I know myself when you start to feel like you're misplaced in the woods, it's very hard just to sit down and absolutely relax. But what happens when we are in any type of traumatic experience, our body goes into fight or flight. And I'm sure most people heard of this. When you're lost in the woods though, your fight and flight response are going to be the same thing. It's gonna to be to move quickly, to either fight your way into an area that you know, so getting to where you know, because that's going to help you, or flight, and that's running from the area you're in because you don't know where it's at, and trying to get to a better area. So either way, it's the same outcome and the same thing's happening. What happens when this occurs, though, is that our brain starts to almost shut down, and we are just focused on getting from point A to point B, but we don't know where point B is because we're already lost. So you need to sit down where you're at, and calm yourself down the best you can. So after sitting for a little bit, that sitting might give you time to reflect back on where you made that mistake and what landmarks you passed while you were walking or how far you walked off course that you normally don't walk. And it might give you very good clues on how to get back, which feeds directly into number three. And that is to use something called waypoint markers. Now waypoint markers are used a lot in advanced navigation and waypoint markers are a great tool if you think that you might not know where you're currently at. Now how a waypoint marker is used is you're gonna take something that is brightly colored and you're gonna put it on a tree or on something high that is very visible for you to see at your current location. From that point then, you can walk anywhere in the vicinity. As long as you can visually see that waypoint marker in a distance, you're allowed to go there. You cannot leave visual sight of that waypoint marker. What this is gonna do is give you a point of reference of where you realized you were lost, where you sat and tried to gather your thoughts, and when you walk away from this, you know how to get back to that exact location. Sometimes just walking around and going 100 yards in one direction, you can see your waypoint marker and realize, hey, my path is right here. I just went the wrong direction when I took my bathroom break there two minutes ago. Number four. Now everybody I know that's in the survival or bushcraft, they like cringe when we say we have cell phones out in the woods, but the reality is that everybody normally carries them with them. So being able to pull your cell phone out and utilize that in an emergency is very important. First, you can use something like Google Maps, which will sometimes pinpoint your exact location, or you can use other GPS programs on your phone, which I'm gonna talk about in future videos, that allows you to see where you're at and where you need to go via Google Earth images or just topographical maps. Having a GPS with you in remote areas might also be a very good idea because it works off satellites and it's going to help you tremendously. So you need to pre-plan a little bit for that. Now I know what some people might be thinking, well, what if I'm in an area that I don't have cell phone reception or I had cell phone reception and I walked a little bit 
bit and where I got lost, I don't have it. And that's where we can refer back to that waypoint marker. If we have a waypoint marker hanging up at the location in which we originally decided that we might not know where we're at, we can travel a little bit. And as long as we can see that, we're allowed in that area. So sometimes walking 20 or 30 feet with our cell phone gives us that one bar we need in order to access those applications or at least be able to make a phone call and tell somebody you don't know where you're at. And then finally, if all of that does not work for you, number five, it's time to get comfortable. And this is where so much of this channel comes in. We talk about different survival priorities. We talk about food, shelter, water, and fire. All of those things can make our life more comfortable and actually save our lives if we are in a dangerous situation. And what I mean by getting comfortable is to start to take these survival priorities and put them into application. So get yourself out of the wind, protect yourself from the precipitation, maybe get a fire going if you need to warm up. Drink some water if you're out of water and there's water available. Maybe boil some water and start to get some more fluids inside you. Have a little snack. Just get comfortable. Sometimes just relaxing for a little bit and knowing that you're gonna be safe, at least for the night, is gonna allow your mind to wander a little bit more and think about where you actually got off trail and how to get back on it. So if you take those five things into consideration, it can keep you very safe and sometimes, going through them is gonna get you to the point that you realize, hey, this is where I went wrong and this is how I get back to that location. So just remember, when you're in the woods, if you feel like you don't know where you're at, admit to yourself you don't know where you're at. Stop and relax. Use waypoint markers to explore. Use technology to help you get out of there and then get comfortable. And if all of that is done and you still don't know where you're at, you're going to have to make the decision based on your situation on if you're gonna move or if you're gonna stay there and wait for somebody to come and get you. If you have good pre-planning in place, normally staying put is going to be the best bet. Somebody should, within a few hours, be red flagged that you're not back or you're not where you're supposed to be and send somebody out looking for you. But again, that is gonna be very situational dependent and it's not something that I, on camera, will be able to tell you do this or do that. But what I can tell you is those five steps are gonna keep you super safe while you're in the woods if you do realize that you are lost. And it's gonna give you much better chances of making your way out or being found and not getting even more lost than you might already be. So write those five things down, think about them, put them to your own application when you're out and it's going to make you that much more comfortable while you're in the woods. So this was Dan Wolwak, survival instructor, bushcraft instructor, outdoor enthusiast, I guess I could say maybe expert. And I hope that these little tips have helped everybody. So as we always like to say, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com all our classes, merchandise, all that cool stuff. And until our next video, stay in the woods. Don't, don't get lost. Pre-plan, do these things, don't get lost. Stay in the woods and have a good time.